It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so we were gonna invade Xingyang. I always think I say that wrong. Is it Xingyang? Sink Ayang. Yep, someone's gonna try and correct me, but eh, what do I care? What do I care? So we're gonna justify on all three of these babies. I'm probably gonna justify on Afghanistan as well. Anyone else we need to have? Uh, probably to make life easier, we probably should go for Nepal as well and go for Bhutan. Because that way we've got a clean cut where we're going to attack, isn't it? Yeah, it, it makes it really easy to see where we're going to attack from. And of course, our good good buddy Rommel is going to supervise this invasion attempt. Attempt? Oh, wait, attempt? Did I just say attempt? No, of course. This is, this is the success. Um, where are these supplies coming from? Oh, they're coming from here. So let's just let's use the in-game menus to make this easy. Do, do, do. All right, that's perfect. Um, I think we'll probably shift those to the top. We'll let the roads fix themselves, the ones that are damaged, but my god, this is going to take a long while to fix these roads. We're probably going to have to fix them on the fly. We'll fix them as we go. Um, yep, let's just fix them as we go. So, we've successfully uh, taken out the Soviet Union. We've taken out the Allies. An excellent suggestion, why not? All right, so we've cleared up pretty much all the Allies. The Allies are pretty much all gone, and so has the Soviet Union. So, I thought we'd continue this by just take, get rid of the final factions. And there are three factions remaining. And those factions are the Common Turn, the Chinese United Front, and the Common Turn. Did I say Common Turn? I, I don't even know anymore. Anyway, let's get all these factories fixed and that'll help the, the repair of our buildings. Um, actually, is there a guy that we can get that's good at repairs? Here's a little known fact for you guys. If you go for the guy that gives you... No, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's a fact, anyway, that that you can do the thing. <laughs> no, there's a, there's a guy that incre increases repairs of infrastructure, and if you go for him, he also increases building and also repairs. Did I say that right? I don't think I did, but never mind. You got the idea, right? The gist of what I was saying was, was given out there. Um, how are we doing with supply equipment? What? We're behind a motorized? Oh, I know what's going wrong here. We're, we're taking attrition. So we need to probably keep these guys here. We're going to have like lots of issues with supply in this area. I know we are. So let's just stick all you guys here. Go. Yeah, I, I know what's happening right now. It's because we're taking lots of attrition in the mountains. Alright, let's get these guys moved over. Someone in my Twitch chat said that that was Operation Barbershop. And we just uh, trimmed... We just trimmed... Uh, what the hell? Why aren't you guys going? Yeah, we, we, we're just... Tr we're, the operation was to trim Stalin's moustache. I thought that was pretty damn funny, right? The lols. Are we actually moving? Yeah, we are. Alright, that's good. Still having supply problems here. Why aren't you guys moving? I don't get it. This is actually going to be like a really tricky invasion. You know, I was making out this was going to be piss easy. How we're going to invade here is going to be a right nightmare because there's like loads of issues with um, with supply. All right, so we're fixing the roads. We have absolute tons, absolutely tons of uh, construction we can be working on. Um, it'd be really nice if we had France right now because France is like a ton of um, civilian factories. Yeah, eighty-three. Damn. Yeah, we could have done with that 83. That would have helped the production of like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 extra repairs, construction. Uh, okay, never mind. Are they taking attrition? Yeah, they are. Why are you guys moving? I don't understand. So if I was a logistics legend, which I'm not, I would very intelligently... Um, split off the divisions that I need to make this invasion, but I want to make this my life incredibly easy. Yeah, balls, let's do it. 
Okay. 20, we need 24. Alright, 24. Go for this. Uh, you, I'm gonna be the dude. I think he actually is a logistics legend, isn't he? Logistics legend, look. Actual logistics legend. Oh, he's a level 8 as well. He is a super pro. Ranger. Oh, okay. I think we're still going to go for Edric von Meenstein. Are we fixing these roads? Yeah, we are. Very, very slowly. Where are these? Here. We are repairing them just incredibly slowly. We are getting there, I promise. Half of this episode is going to be me planning this, you know, because getting through the mountains is going to be so tricky. We're actually building full-blown highways in the mountains. No one will capitulate until all of the civilian soldiers and bears and vodka factories are dead. That's right. So the main goal of invading the Soviet Union wasn't to get living space as described in Mein Kampf. The actual ideal goal was to get lots of vodka and bears. Um, for no apparent reason. I don't know. Actually, what was the reason? Maybe you guys in the comments should tell me. Why were we invading again? Ba 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 In Europa Universalis 4 there's an option to skip songs. I want to skip back to that song now, but the option's not there. I'm actually kind of curious to see how this war's going to go now. So like, Japan was winning, then China was winning, and then we're back to this situation. Now I think probably... Ooh, what's going on here? Like, there's no Japanese divisions holding this front line. Bhutan, Nepal. Yeah, there we go. Go, go, go. Aggressive. Aggressive. I think what we'll probably do... now. Nah, who cares? We'll just declare a war on all of them. Um, is there any left over? I don't think there is. Bhutan, Nepal. Now, the only one that's going to give us a really big pain in the ass is going to be the British Raj. They are going to give us a big pain in the ass because they're probably pretty strong. Yeah, they do. They have a lot of divisions. And fighting in the mountains is just a nightmare. Even if you've got like an, uh, a, a kind of fighting advantage. Oh, the wars are merging now. Bhutan join the Allies. Nepal join the Allies. British Raj merged the wars. We're down to three wars now. We're down to two wars now. Two wars. We've got the... Have they joined their own faction? Yeah, it's two wars. We've got the common turn. Oh shit, there's these guys as well. Um, these guys go here. And go here, and then go here. Um, go for the ranger guy? Yeah, why not? There we go. We're not having supply problems now, which is good. How come you guys aren't going? Are you put you on aggressive? Yeah. 24 divisions. Don't have to manually move you. Is that how it's going to be? We have to move you dude by dude. Yeah, so there's no supply problems showing now, which is good news. We probably get, should get the next logistic upgrade. I don't know why, but the music just seems incredibly quiet. My voice is probably overpowering everything. Yeah, it doesn't sound like there's any sound whatsoever. I don't know what's happened to the music, guys. The music has fully got ripped. Okay, we're going to just grab the capital. Oh, we have to go all the way around. So for some bizarre reason, it lets you put a front line here, but yet... Oh, never mind. It allows you to put a front line on the other end, but yet yeah, you can't actually attack through there. Why would you do that paradox? Alright, we're one down. Can we get some better artillery, maybe? Yes. Nice. Okay, so first objective has been complete. Uh, who's this guy? This guy is here. 
Now you, on the other hand, are gonna go here. No, 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 you're not. I'm gonna go here and go for... Oh yeah! Technically at this stage we could just tell them to go bleh, like that, couldn't we? Another one bites the dust. Bum, bum, bum. Another one bites the dust. Any troubles with roads? A little bit. Probably should have fixed these, shouldn't we? Yep, that's good. We probably should just grab all of these guys and give it to the field marshal, shouldn't we? Everyone here, and grab the field marshal, and GG, son. I think this might be a really good time for our final, final random fact about Germany. Well, it's not fact, really. It's about fact about the world. I <laughs> so, um, the British Raj, okay, um, is actually the, one of the largest Muslim nations in the entire world. That's right. They, uh, they were invaded by the Hindus in the Middle Ages, and uh, now they, uh, they have full control. This is just going nowhere. Guys, this is the end of the series. I hope you enjoyed this series. It's been incredibly random. Uh, I wanted it to be a big joke and a bit of a laugh, but there you go. Anyway, this is it, the final series. GG, no re, and let's end this. Let's end this. We actually have another slot. Alliance with Spain. A lot of people in the chat are probably going to be telling me, Oh, why don't you invade the United States? Ah, eh, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. It's getting over there, that's the problem. Getting over there. It's just a lot of work. I've got to, like, walk over there. It's just being a nightmare. I'll not do that. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's attacking from this side as well. The biggest issue is they're maneuvering around the front line as well. That's probably slowing them down. And what's the supply like here? Afghanistan has capitulated. Nice. Grab you guys and you guys. There you go. We're doing some absolutely serious repairs right now. How's the supply look in these areas? The supply is very good now. Those Soviet engineers, so strong. So strong. Well, the meme is so strong, isn't it? So strong. I bet the advantage is massive. Disadvantage, should I say. 60%. Ouch. Yeah, we will get across the mountains. It's probably going to take ages, but hey, we'll do it. And then we'll help out. We'll help out Japan. Japan looks like they're getting absolutely beaten up. How is China doing? The longer Chinese exist, the, the stronger they get. They just pump out divisions that... Whoa, they're on extensive conscription? That's like at least 10 million men if they control all of China. But they don't. They don't. How is... Oh, are they... Oh. Thailand joined uh, the Axis. Okay. Oh, what do you know? Well, what do you know? I don't understand this front line. I think I'm gonna let them maneuver around for a second. Is there anything we could go for to speed them up? Uh, we'll go for the movement guy. Yeah, why not? Any guy we can do as a last resort? Any last resort, dude? Uh, division recovery rate, why not? Alliance with Spain. Befriend Turkey. I think this shifts Turkey towards the Axis, isn't it? A volunteer sent to Spain. To France. Is that France? What? Yeah, yeah, France to France. Oh no, having supply problems. In my territory. Oh, it's because it's French troops. I don't care then. The French can have issues with the supply. I don't care. I think it's kind of bizarre, you know, how like... Vinci France is has claims on the rest of France. I think that's kind of strange. Does anyone think that's kind of weird? So Germany, well Hitler should I say, grew inspiration for invading India through uh, Alexander the Great. Uh, he really admired Alexander the Great's uh, Greek heritage and uh, his um, op open, openly bisexuality. 
Hitler really admired that kind of stuff. Hitler was into that. And that's what I'm trying to recreate right now. This is completely ahistorical, by the way. This never actually happened, but I'm trying to recreate the passion of the Hitler that a lot of you have never experienced before. And this is it, guys. This is Hitler's true ambition, true passion to recreate the uh, the bisexual dreams of um, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Actual facts. Actual true facts. Alright, how many guns can we pump out? Oh, we've still got some light tanks. Oh, no, we've got zero light tanks, to be truthful. Oh, damn, those new guns. So shiny. Yeah, we're getting a little bit bogged down right now. Just a little bit. Befriend Turkey. Befriend Japan. Oh, he wants to join our wars. Nah, I can't be bothered. Hang on a minute. Have they actually joined our faction? They have. That's weird how you go for... It's the Spanish befriend, but they don't auto-join, but with Turkey they do. Okay. I don't want to join. Damn you, then. Damn you! Yeah, this is this is actually going to make lots of issues in the UK, you know, because the British are going to get really pissed off now. They're not, they're not going to get their opium and tea. So what are they going to do? What are they going to do? This is actually a re historically accurate, inaccurate, accurate recreation of if I invaded India and how the British would react. This is actual historical, true historical facts. Where are these areas? Oh man, I really need those logistics too. Can I find these roads? Oh, it's here. These are all here. Technically, we're actually using these roads though, aren't we? So we should probably repair them. Punjab. Okay, this is my number one requested feature for Paradox, okay? This is going to blow your freaking mind of why this isn't already in the game, but why the hell don't I have some button in here that I can press that would say prioritize repairs? And what it would mean is every time there's a broken piece of infrastructure, it automatically gets shoved to the top based on a button that's here. Guys, how awesome would that be? I'm going to have to go into this menu all the time and hit shift and push them all to the top over and over and over again. Oh my damn. That would be so damn sweet. So damn sweet. And that's my number one requested feature for Paradox. When we get through the mountains, which technically we already have done, we'll we'll plow through this area. Are we doing alright? Yeah, we're doing really good. Can we maybe go here? No. I always think it's kind of bizarre, you know, like when you go for the alliance with uh, Italy or you go with befriend Japan, because it's kind of, it gets to the stage where they're already friends with you anyway, so it's like, I don't know, what's the point in that? You know what I mean? Doesn't you know what I mean? Hang on a second. Oh, we never attacked Luxembourg. I was thinking to myself, like, hang on a second. We took out Belgium, we took out the Netherlands, but we didn't take out Luxembourg. Oh my god, look at that. Speedy French tank. So fast. Anyway, so we're plowing into the Raj right now. We're really struggling to get through the mountain range here. Which kind of makes sense historically, doesn't it? Because, I mean, this would be near enough impossible for an army to get across with the sheer huge mountains of oh I don't know the name of this mountain range I'm sorry guys we'll call these the southern Urals oh god that's going to make some people in the chat so mad <laughs> that's going to make people so salty oh dear around the magic line that's a good idea that's a good idea around the magic 
Oh, we can declare war on the Netherlands and Belgium and Luxembourg. It's kind of sweet, quid. You, you click on that and it actually takes you to the center of Africa. Very interesting. All right, we've taken out Bhutan. And Nepal is next. Uh, do we need to take out those? No. Repair the roads. Artillery's done. Anti-tank maybe? Yeah, why not? Yay! We're pretty much over and done with. Nepal is gone. And all that is left is India. 414k, damn. The National Union of Greece. They've joined because they're our puppets, aren't they? They didn't have a choice in the matter. It'd be kind of amusing, you know, to like, as Germany invade Italy and make them your puppet and Hungary and make them your puppet like really early in the game. I don't know, that'd be kind of amusing to me. I don't know, how do you guys feel about that? That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? You would truly be the, the Nazi puppet master. How are we doing here? We're doing good? Yep. Time to repair some roads, boys. There we go. Don't really need to. Oh, maybe we do. What? Guys, can you just, like, go here? I don't really want to babysit you. Are you moving? Yeah, you're moving. There we go. It's really nasty that, because you're going to take like absolutely shit tons of attrition. Alright, we're going to stop. Oh no, I've realized that the, 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 the United States might join this war. Oh boy. Because it is 1942 and this is about when the, uh, the United States joins, isn't it, as well? I realize what's going on here. Bombay is very, very nice this time of year. What? What is that from? That's from a movie, isn't it? <laughs> I'm reeling off lines from a movie that I feel like I've not seen in a very long time. <laughs> Does anyone know what movie I'm quoting? That's so weird. All right, where's the capital now? Pew. That one's one. One. Oh, the capital's here, Burma. Wow, I'm really surprised they've not surrendered. There you go, boom. Are we good to go now? Stop, go. Uh, do we go for the next tech? Why not? It's pretty much end game now, so... Oh, actually, now think about it. We still have to take on China, don't we, as well? I think we'll probably try and engage them through the mountains. I bet this guy now is a mountain expert. Oh, he's not, because he's not a general, is he? He's just a field marshal. Hmm. Charismatic. What does that do? Organization first. What does that do? I've never seen those tra trends, do traits before. I don't actually know what they do. Wow, they're really putting up a fight as well. They're only 80%. Wow. Oh, India's got some fight in them, that's for sure. Alright, go here, go here. Working on those computers, boys. For Madras. And we go here. And there we go. Are we done now? Are they going to surrender? Nope. Nope! Okay, we're going to have to grab these Burma colonies as well. Oh. 
Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we have the Maldives. Got lots of islands from the first war that I just completely forgot about. Dun, 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 dun. See, this is the reason why I'm not a big fan of world conquests, because they're just not very fun. I mean, you end up in situations like this where you're just kind of grinding for territory, where you don't really feel like the war's going to turn in any other direction, you know. I feel like it's just a straight win. The most challenging part of this series was when I uh, I took the UK and I struggled because the UK had uh, sunk my convoys before they arrived. That was probably the hardest part of this whole campaign. Oh, French India. Are they going to surrender now? Hey! Yay! We did it, boys. We did it. We still having supply problems? Here we are. Oh boy, now this is going to be tricky because we're going to have to push. Oh no, actually, now I think about it, we won't need those. We probably just need to go for this. And then make some ports here and here and here. Yeah, we'll just do that. Burma. Yeah, I'll go for these as well. Nice. Okay, so... Should we grab all the divisions? Let's just go crazy. So all of you guys... Oh my god, it takes absolutely so long to select a, an army. We are going to join this war and we're going to invade through here. And we're going to grab the capital here. Perfect. Now go from here. Alright, uh, I don't think this is going to take too long. Got a few civilian factories, we'll push those to the top to maximize repairs. It's only three, but we'll do. Yep, when you're ready, go, and we're gonna join the war. Technically, we don't need to justify, do we? Because we can just join Japan's war. Japan. Oh, they don't want us to join. They don't want us to join. Interesting. I'm gonna do it in 30 days anyway. So they're in their own faction, so what that technically means is that the USA isn't going to come to their rescue, so that's, that's good news. So literally, we have Eurasia, Africa, Oceania mainly. Well, not all of it. I guess Australia, Australia New Zealand are uh, their own thing. Under our full control, the Axis well and truly have one. And then there's North and South America. And then again, we've got, we've got a little bit of South Africa as well. Africa, South America. We've got a bit of North Africa as well. A bit of the Caribbean. Oh my god, what a patriotic German song to finish to. Oh my god, we've got no supply problems as well. We have actually built, in Tibet, we have built infrastructure to 10. I kid you not, boys. And Tajikistan as well. Well, actually, it's Tilim. Oh, we'll not even bother with that. We'll just say to Chikistan. There we go. Anyway, are we ready to declare war yet? No. Almost though. Actually, have all the divisions arrived? Yeah, they have. Wow. And we're gonna go. Go, boys. Are we at max? Yep, we are. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, so you're probably wondering why why are we uh, invading China? It kind of seems like a weird choice because this isn't World War II. Oh, actually, no. I guess it is technically World War II. I guess we're just finishing up the war, really, because there's only one war left. Oh, no, there's two. Japanese-Chinese war. Am I losing my mind? Oh, of course, we've created two separate wars. Okay, fair enough, okay. Oh, my damn. Are we moving? There we are. Boom, boom. No, don't call Italy. Okay, we no, all right. I bet they're gonna get some war score from that as well. They'll get like two war score and they'll demand the territory. Ugh. Oh, 
what a beautiful patriotic music to end this campaign to. 1942 gents, Euro-Asia, Africa, all under Axis control. We could actually form like a base here as well. Guys, if you wanted a world conquest, I guess this was going to be kind of it, wouldn't it? I mean, we'd be going to declare... Oh, actually, no, because if we're making a puppet, we can't declare war on a puppet, can we? We'd have to somehow use the console to get rid of the puppets, wouldn't we? Which is Greece and... It's France. It's like a large portion of France still exists as well, doesn't it? Like all of West Africa. Do, 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 do. Guys, please go. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I think if we take their capital, the mate surrender. 20 war score. Most of their war score and industries on the southern eastern areas. So if we grab this area, they're pretty much going to give up. Hopefully. Hopefully. 132 divisions. Damn. Oh, struggling a little bit there. A little bit of struggling. Alright, okay, I guess they're not giving up. I'm gonna have to push into the center. This is kinda cool because this is gonna give us quite a lot of war score. This is probably... i tell you what, if I was playing as the Japanese player right now, I'd be so ferociously mad right now. Honestly, I'd be... My jimmies would be so ferociously mad. Is that Iranian division? It is. Well, that's just pissed me off. We have to invade Iran now. In fact, forget it. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Yay! GG! Oh, they've grabbed all this territory. Yeah, that's actually the first thing they grabbed. They had all the war score. I thought maybe we could get really lucky in. Oh shit, can't even grab that. Oops. Really? Do, 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 do. Let's let, you know what, guys? This is really going to piss you guys off. This is really going to make you really angry, but... Oh, I can't even do that. Can't do that either. Really? Oh, how mad are you? Oh, we can't even grab that. Can we not grab it because it's inland? Yeah, we can't. <laughs> I was trying to make it really ugly borders. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> I was trying to make really ugly borders by having this one province, but I failed. Oh, well. Here we go, guys. That's pretty much the end of this campaign. This was my Mar Versa Rumba series, uh, where I technically really didn't do anything that Rumba did anyway. But anyway, we created some kind of World War II that ended in 1942. What factions do we have remaining? We just have the Axis. The one remaining faction. And someone in the comments is going to get, get really butt hurt that we didn't invade the United States. I bet someone's going to get really butt hurt. They have a lot of divisions. Damn. Pax America. And they're going for that one a little bit late, aren't they? The fascist menace. Are they actually at war with anyone? No, they're not. That's all the war's done. Guys, if you've enjoyed this series, remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below of another series you'd like me to do. I am open for new ideas. I hope you all have a good day and I'll leave you there. Good night, God bless, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.